Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? I mean, holy smoke is it in. No joke, if suckers are digging up everything right now. Gamers are not stopping. Gamers are going insane. And there's like a bunch of new stuff that has been discovered about like Ghost of uh, Tampon, Ghost of Tsushima, Ghost of Yode, whatever you want to call it. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. I want to know, like, where you guys at. But apparently, like, this is uh, what was discovered by the fans. People are not leaving a chance. And on the left, Ghost of Tsushima squad, you can see people that made Ghost of Tsushima. On the right, th this is uh, this is the group that's making Ghost of Yori. And a lot of people going crazy right now. I want to get right into the story. Shout out to the homie John Del Arroz. Oh, for, for this one, roll it. It gets worse with the Ghost of Yotai story here as the yeah. Ghost of Tsushima sequel appears to be a big woke craziness. Yeah, and this is something that we covered, but wait for it, wait for it. Uh, now, a lot of people initially defended it, said, you know what, it's fine, we like games with females protagonists, it, it doesn't mean yeah, anything. Yeah, but as more yeah. came out, these choices really yeah. appear to be part of the woke agenda from Sony. It's really, really bad, uh, and it gets worse. Uh, today, there's a big uh, unveiling of some Sony agenda to uh, yeah. push this kind of thing. Man. Uh, it's real, it's not a conspiracy, and uh, you know they're already going down this path of if you don't like it, don't buy it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah they, they've seen this so many times in so many <laughs> different industries. But, and here's the thing, though. Sean Layden don't even work for Sony, so he was like, okay, PlayStation, on your behalf, on your behalf, I'm about to tell people to not buy your game, on your behalf. Sony's like, bro, like, what the hell? Don't do that. We recently, we recently lost 400 plus million US dollars on Concord, bro. What the hell? Why are you doing that, bro? I, I swear to God, man, like gamers are surely looking like this. But right now, man, Sony be looking like this too, bro. You know, this is that gentleman, you know, you remember when The Undertaker lost, bro. We were all looking like this. I was watching that live and for the first time when The Undertaker lost, man. She man, like it was crazy, bro. We were all looking like that. I'm pretty sure Sony's looking like that right now. But what's up, man? Like we need games like Uncharted, man. Make games like Uncharted. Yes, I would also love uh, a game like Tomb Raider and having a female character that is not woke. Let me say that again. Having a female character or protagonist is not woke. A lot of people would agree with that, right? Some would disagree with that, and that's perfectly fine. But you know, these seconds are trying to paint everybody like, hey, hey, you guys don't like female protagonists. Nah, that's not the case, man. Seconds want to see female protagonists. Seconds want to see it. But when you you had Ghost of Tsushima based off of the Jin's uh, story, and then you do this, then of course, man, people are going to be like, they're going to feel some way about it, man. Like, damn, man, like people want to see Ghost of Tsushima too. Seconds don't want to see Ghost of Tampon. Like, come on, man. What are we talking about here, bro? We saw it with comics, with, uh, you know, don't buy our comics if you don't like our politics. Uh, back in the day, we saw it with uh, Doctor Who. Uh, you know, go, don't watch it. Go touch grass. And then uh, now we're seeing it with video games. Don't buy it. And I, I think that's the answer. Just don't buy it. I, I, we've seen now it's working with Ubisoft. It's really shut down that company. But Sony needs to learn this lesson as well. And it's really bad. Uh, there's a lot of uh, terrible stuff associated with this game that I, I could never see myself playing it at this point. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a major problem. So we'll get into uh, uh, Are you guys going to get it? Like, let me know. One, if you're going to buy it. Two, if you're not going to buy it. I want to know, like, where you guys are at with it. But wait for it. Wait for it, guys. The news wait in just a moment it. beyond this uh, as it's coming out. My name is John Delarose. Everybody, please hit the like and subscribe button and i am a science fiction author producing some great works this is my stars and twine wow, and wow. it's a trilogy uh the erection war it's about a like and subscribe guys and definitely shout out to the homie john as well and i want to say if you guys are into ufos and conspiracies uh, check out the second channel like i upload there mostly every other day uh join the membership as well on the channel helps out a ton but it's a spy thriller in space we got a, we got a human spy his name is sean barrows best very soon after there was some controversy involved in, and, and it's interesting i've seen some back and forths uh some of the guys uh you know in geeks and gamers and the like have been defending it saying that it's a, it's a light upon our movement uh to actually criticize this game because it makes us look like we're bigots or whatever i hate that kind of thing personally uh, i'm just like hey uh you know what we are uh here to stand against wokeism i, I don't i don't care if it's just a little bit uh, i don't want to support people who are like this uh, at all, uh, radical activist who thinks police are white supremacists and supports transgender ideology. She's got the uh, <laughs> got the shaved head, uh, as you would expect. And this is this is how they are. Um, this Damn. is uh, the uh, woke activist as it is. And you can yeah. see right here. And, and, and you know, oh man, you guys saw like the other image. You're, you're about to see it. You're about to see it. Wait for it. Uh, the Ghost of Yotai progressive activist known for hating the police, telling straight women who disagree with LGBT to log off, is not just the voice actor. She's also the face and mocap of the new Sucker Punch title. Yeah, it's an asset. Um, like I said, yeah. I guess seconds go be seconds, man. This is, this is what they're doing. This is who yeah, they want yeah. uh, here. And it is not just a 
uh, you know, oh, she's just the voice actress, like like yeah. they were trying to say at the very beginning of the stuff. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, it. I mean, listen, gamers are hella crazy right now. You know, day one, it was like, hey, man, I don't feel so good about it, man. Because Ghost of Tsushima 1 was like the story of Jin, and a lot of people were like... So, yeah, right? Like, that story was about Jin. Now, like, we're getting Ghost of Tampon, Ghost of Yone. You, you know what? Like, graphic looking good. Gra graphics looking aight. Graphics looking aight. And let me be real, though. Your trailer was fi fire, though. You know? Graphics were really good. Uh, and, and, yeah, right? Like, if they do the story justice... Because uh, I'm not sure, man. I was not there in 1608. I, I don't know, and I have not Googled it yet, okay? But apparently, some... Uh, a, a lot of people are saying, man, we don't want Ghost of Tampon. Uh, females uh, back then were not a samurai. Some are saying yeah, she was a samurai. But, but it's it's just one of those things, right? Like, I personally have not Googled it yet. I'm seeing a little bit of outrage, uh, but not necessarily on that. People are having more outrage on this. And the fact that the team was replaced by females. Uh, we previously saw a picture of all the men cooking up Ghost of Tsushima, which you're about to see it again in a second as well, right? So we had like men working on Ghost of Tsushima, now you got females working on Ghost of Tsushima. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but like, damn. But damn, man, like, then when you're gonna say men are wrong, men are toxic, men are uh, misogynistic, toxic gamers, and when you're gonna scream that uh, 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 alongside it, and you know, companies like Ubisoft, they're having mentorship program, and they're like, men are not allowed. I mean, damn! I mean, damn! What are we talking about? Men not allowed, bro, like, in the world, you got almost half, okay? Okay, let's just, let's not say half, let's just say 49%, Bruh. which is almost half, okay? You know, half of the population is men, okay? What are we talking about, man? These suck is crazy. So Ubisoft is like, hey, bro, men not allowed, but we're still gonna have mentorship program. You cannot spell mentorship without men, plural, in it, bro. Bruh. Like, damn, homie. So when they're openly gonna say, and you, you know, you got Ghost of Tsushima dev team being females, and they're like, we wanna be strong, we wanna be independent. Yeah, be strong, be independent, queens. But like, can a brother get a good game <laughs> without like any of these politics? I mean, like, uh, she'd be too strong independent though. She's like, yeah, be strong, be independent, queen. But like, Sigas just wanna get a good game, man. Like, that's what it's about, but. It, it's really, really bad out there. And you can see, it's an agenda. This yeah, is, there uh, we go. This is what's going on. So Bumble Clyde Brothers. Bumble Clyde. <laughs> now, I, I do believe that there are probably men working on it, but it's just that they want to show, like, the... It's just the females working on it. So men are probably, like, in the back, like... Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, men are just, like, busting their ass. <laughs> They're sitting on their ass, like, 20 houring a day on... Probably not, I'm exaggerating. But, you know, they, they are busting their ass working on Ghost of Tampon, and then the credit is going to to all of them so yeah like it's it's crazy it is crazy we're seeing a massive shift right now but uh, once again though having a female protagonist that's not woke though again that's not woke man in fact like there are games where it works well but it's just that right now there's a whole lot of crap coming out it's like one after the other one after another one after another and uh, yeah right so a lot of people are hella suspect right now needless to say a lot of people looking like this People like, hey man, like, damn, what's going on? People in Discord looking like this. People be like, damn, you know, damn, what's going on, man, what's going Calling on? It's horrible for pointing out that gaming is predominantly male space, that these dev teams are artificially majority female are a problem. Uh, and you can see uh, what's happening here. This was uh, Ghost yeah. of Tsushima's dev team, right? Uh, here's Ghost of Yotai's dev team. They're not there the same. These are, this is not the same game. It, it, they're using the brand, but these are not the same people. You can see exactly what this is. Uh, looks like they've just ditched. Uh, everybody who made the first game a success made a lot of fun, uh, and they decided <laughs> yeah. to go all in on diversity. If that is real, that is crazy. I realistically, I realistically do believe that yes, some men are probably busting, or maybe most of the team is men. It just happens to be that they they are promoting inclusivity and diversity and all that, and the female, the women power and feminism and all that. So by the looks of it, that's what's going on, I guess. But if it's really true that they fired all the men, oh man. <laughs> Like, that, yeah, at that point, I'm like, bro, like, what the hell, bro? I, I, I would not be shocked, because at Ubisoft, they got actual mentorship. That That's that's criminal. That should be criminal. I think it's criminal, but I don't know, though. I don't know, though. I might be talking out of my ass. I don't, I don't know whether that's criminal or not. But, like, Ubisoft is having mentorship program where men are not allowed. 
it's only for females and non-binary and i'm like bro okay listen let's just say a female that identify herself as a man can she work at ubisoft under that mentorship you know because technically she a woman that identify herself as a man but ubisoft is like men cannot work so yeah right like it, it, it's it's a little bit uh yeah it's confusing it's confusing so can she or he work or not i just want to know man so this thing is crazy man this thing is crazy is what i'm trying to say you got a blue hair on the right here uh, you, you can tell what's happening. It's, it's very, very obvious. Now, Sony is saying much the same thing, guys. Uh, when you get into what Sony's doing with this, uh, Cabrutus just reported this this morning. Um, but the female protagonist in the next Ghost of, of Game is not because of DEI reasons. That's what I'm seeing a lot, right? Uh, I'm yeah, seeing a lot yeah. of this, and it's in conjunction with the, the, Zelda, the new Zelda game. Everybody's saying the Zelda game's fun, and, you know, oh, they're not just replacing Link as a protagonist. You know, it, it's a pattern at this point. And I've been saying this. I got, I got flack for that. When I reported on that, and I said, you know, replacing Link as a protagonist uh, and calling it Legend of Zelda is, is kind of just more of this exact same thing. It is a big replacement happening all the time, and it, it's just constant. And you have to look at it as it's a pattern. You have to look at the fact that M MCU, like, doesn't, doesn't, you know, they just got rid of white males. Star Wars, they just got rid of white, white males. Like, it, it's very, very intentional. These corporations <laughs> do this. It's not a conspiracy. Man. It's not something that's just happening periodically. It's all the time in everything. And uh, and that's the problem here. I mean, yeah, Assassin's Creed Shadows. I mean, you got your black samurai, but who, you know, who's the ninja, right? Uh, they're doing this for everything. And it is very intentional. And so here is... Uh, 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 so by, by the way, I'm a brown man. Like, a lot of people don't believe it. There you go, man. <laughs> I know it's the lighting, but I'm from Pakistan, so I'm ethnically brown, guys. I'm brown, so thank God I'm safe. Thank God I'm safe. I think I'm safe. Thank God. Thank God. You know? But yeah, these suckers are crazy, man. Like, shout out to my white homies out there. Shout out to my black homies as well. Shout out to my brown homies, man. Shout out to my purple homies as well, man. Like, gang, Bruh. gang, what's up, man? What's up, baby, bro? But, but like, these suckers are trying to divide us all, bro. These are, and, and then they turn around and they're like, hey, gamers are racist. We just want a good game. We just want a good game. Bro, we just want games like how we used to get back in the days. Okay? Simple as that. Simple as that. But nowadays, it'd be like Ghost of Tampon. People wanted Ghost of Tsushima 2. People were like, hey, man, listen. When Ghost of Tsushima 2 happens, bro, this thing is gonna be crazy, okay? This thing is gonna, like, make the best game ever. It's gonna be... Imagine it is, though. You never know, right? I still wanna give it the benefit of the doubt because it's Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is uh, known to be good, but based off the information that is coming out, man... I'm hella suspect, and a lot of people are hella suspect. Yeah, right? Now, if it turns out that the story and the plot is good and accurate, and it's culturally appropriate, culturally accurate, and they're not, like, disrespecting the Japanese culture, and they're not, like, changing history, rewriting history, just like how Ubisoft did with Yasuke uh, in, in, in Assassin's Creed Shadows, uh, Shadows, right? With, yeah, BBC Samurai, right? BB yeah, they, they went crazy. With a salute to Captain BBC! Yeah, I, in my head I was like, hey, I'm missing something, and that's what it was. I forgot to salute the Captain BBC. But, yeah, by the way, this is not my thumbnail. So I guess we're making thumbnails like that on the YouTube, bro. So, that goes to show you, like, where we at. Uh, where we had. <laughs> that goes to show you where we at, man. It is crazy. So I guess we're digging up everything right now. But, prime example, I mean, Uncharted 4, this game came out all the way back in 2016. And honestly, very good game, and I would say this is, uh, around this time, things started to change, right? Because, uh, and here's the thing though, uh, if you guys did not know, for the longest amount of time, Uncharted Story was written by a female, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Amy Henning. She is amazing, she's an amazing author, she used to work at Naughty Dog, and then she left. I believe she left in the middle or after, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and, and what we heard is that uh, Nathan Drake was supposed to have, a, like, a son, but they were like, nah, bro, we gotta have him have a daughter. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that, but th that was their decision it, because of this. And, you know, it started off, like, smaller like that, that's the point that I'm trying to make. It started off small like that, and now this is where we at, guys, this is where we at, this is what's going on. It is crazy, man. Uh, it, yeah, this game came out eight years ago, and it still is very good. It's very good. It holds up to this day, uh, and especially when it came out, it was amazing. I love all the Uncharted games, but just to point out, like, yes, uh, that's how it was, and they did change stuff for the sake of it, for the virtue signaling and all that. 
you guys could have had like a son and a daughter too that would have been better because uh if they want to make if, if they want to continue the storyline could be you know what i mean like one of his son but i feel like then now they're gonna use the daughter to make the game uh, and yeah if, it, if it's good it's good right like or maybe they're just gonna reboot the series there are a lot of rumors like that that they are working on uncharted but nobody knows whether it's gonna continue the storyline or not i don't think we're gonna play as nathan if they're gonna reboot it then yes we can play as nathan but if it's gonna be like uncharted 5 then we're probably gonna play as uh, his daughter in the game and uh, again nothing's wrong with that as long as th the game is not like pushing agendas or like it's girl boss all men wrong all men misogynist all men like toxic problematic you feel what i'm saying right like that's the, the the push they're having right now but if that's the case then it's like bruh like what are we talking man what are we talking about Sony's but, wait for 2024 uh and of course they want to uh, important to create work environments and systems that allow employees with diverse characteristic and styles of life and work uh, for context yes so uh, so uh, but the female protagonist in the next ghost of ghost of y uh, yoda game is not because of dei reasons below we have sony's latest corporate report so sony is saying that oh, shit. Oh, that it is essentially so very intentional and so here is uh, uh sony's corporate report 2024 uh, and of course, right. they want to uh, important to create work environments and systems that allow employees with diverse characteristic and styles of life and work passionately to embrace a broad range of... Now, now by the way, why, why you go to work, what does your style of life have to do with work? And obviously, they're talking about LGBTQ crap, right? That's, that's, that's what that's code for. So, they want more of that. But, but what's that? Like, that shouldn't have anything to do with work and video games. Like, just leave yeah. us alone. It used to be these people used to be like... I mean, just, just make a good game, bro. Like, simple as that. If it's natural, then do it. But, like... Because you guys, you guys remember the uh, the Ballad of Gay Tony, and that was a very good DLC. Why people loved that? B because it was a good story. It was a good story. It was a good game, and it did not felt like that it was pushing agendas. Now, if you really think about it, Cyberpunk is full of that. It's full of diversity, inclusivity, and I don't see people having a problem with it. And the reason people didn't have the problem with it is because, like, if it did not felt like that it was pushing agendas, and also it felt good i guess good in a sense where it felt like good for the story and the plot you know what i mean and for the most part there judy right judy turned out to be uh, i believe she was uh she was gay i mean not i think she was actually but a lot of people didn't know that and if you did not know that i'm sorry bro i'm sorry because a lot of people are like damn she she's smoking hot though but turns out that she not into man, bro. She don't like RTX 3090, man. She don't like RTX 3090s, bro. Like, she don't like your RTX 3090. So you want to simmer down real quick. But the point that I'm trying to make is that Cyberpunk was not pushing anything. But it felt like that it was not pushing. Maybe deep down they wanted to push it. But it didn't felt like that it was pushing. And also, Cyberpunk came out, like, when? 2021? And we didn't have games on the likes of Dustborn, Concord. Now, make no mistake, though. If Cyberpunk came out today yes there would be a lot of pushback there would be a lot of pushback why because of what happened with concord dustborn and all of these games and people saw that these games are clearly pushing agenda and it's like it, it's everywhere in video games so pe people are tired man people are just sick and tired of it and every time you see like the smallest just drip off it people just lose their crap and I don't blame them. I get it. I get it. I get it because you do not know you're hell suspect and the same is happening with Ghost of Tampon right now or my bad uh, Ghost of <laughs> Ghost of Yore. The same is happening with Ghost of Yore, bro. Hey, you know, uh, we just want to do what we want in the privacy of our own bedrooms, but now they want it everywhere. They want to shove it in your face all the time. They won't leave us alone. It's it's obnoxious. Sony believes the effects of its HR initiatives are eventually reflected in employee engagement. Okay, sounds good. Employee engagement is high over recent years. And here we go. This is where it all comes from. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. This is a 2024 Sony report. Sony aims to Bumble be an organization where diverse personalities, opinions, and views and values coexist. Yeah, right. Unless you're a white male Christian, right? <laughs> That's not allowed to coexist. To help further advance the diversity in Sony's group, Sony has set new numeric targets and is working to raise the percentages of women and non-Japanese nationals as a proportion of the Sony Group Corporation executives to more than 30% respectively by 2030. So they are just hiring people just based on being women. That's it. In a recent revised diversity, equity, and inclusion statement for the first time in 10 years to showcase its attitude towards diversity, Sony works to globally promote greater opportunities for women as part of its efforts. This is exactly like Ubisoft. It's exactly the same thing we just saw. Every company is doing this. Wake up. I, I wouldn't be shocked if Sony ends up purchasing Ubisoft at this point and uh, don't change anything, essentially. Yeah, because Sony's also going, off, going after the qualities and... Uh, the main things that Ubisoft did, and Ubisoft ultimately, like, bro, like, their stock fell above 
80 percent right like some people are saying now it's down 90 percent in the last five years and it, it used to be closer or if not if i'm not mistaken around like 10 billion dollars company right maybe even more maybe around that i think around that time uh, around that number all right and now it's closing up to 1 billion oh, shit. Oh, shit. now don't get me wrong 1 billion dollars is a lot of money but for a company like ubisoft you would assume that they would be more right they would be more but they're not bro holy crap they're like they lost 80 plus percent of their value as a company in the last five years and it's just their stock keep on dropping 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 because yeah like their investors don't have any faith in them gamers don't got any faith in them and sony you got you suckers are doing the same crap as them like losing for it was was losing 400 million dollars on concord was that not enough bro like what the hell are we talking about man i hope these suckers learn man but it's gonna get worse before it gets better guys whatever you do do not watch this video okay <laughs> don't watch this video man don't watch this video check out the video on the left guys crazy stuff man crazy